بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اپلائیڈ ترمو ڈائنامکس بائی میکان کی ویڈ ڈاکٹر آبی دوسین سو پرابلم ون پانڈ ون ون پرام میکان کی بک ایس اسٹیم ٹربائن ریسیوز اسٹیم پلو آپ ون پانڈ تری پائپ کلو گرام پر سیکنڈ اینڈ دی پاور آؤٹ فوٹ ایس فائیو ہنڈرڈ کلو وارڈ دی ہیٹ لاس پرام دی کیسنگ ایس نیگلیجیبل کلکولیٹ دی چینج آف سپیسیفک انٹال فی اکراس دی ٹربائن وین دی ویلاسٹی ایٹ انٹرنس اینڈ ایکزسٹ اینڈ دی ڈیپیننس اینڈ ایلیویشن آر نیگلیجیبل دی چینج آف سپیسیفک نمبر ٹو دی چینج آف سپیسیفک انٹال فی اکراس دی ٹربائن وین دی ویلاسٹی ایٹ انٹرنس ایس سکسٹی میٹر پر سیکنڈ اینڈ ایٹ ایکزسٹ ایس تین سو ساٹ میٹر پر سیکنڈ اینڈ دی انلیٹ پائپ ایس تری میٹر ایباو دی ایکزاست پائپ سو پسٹ وی رائٹ دی گیو ان ڈیٹا سو اسٹیم ٹربائن ریسیو اسٹیم پلو آف ون فونڈ تری پائپ کلو گرام پر سیکنڈ ایٹ مینز ایٹ ایم ڈاٹ سٹیم پلو مین ایم ڈاٹ ایز ایکل ٹو ون فونڈ تری پائپ کلو گرام پر سیکنڈ اینڈ دی پاور آؤٹ فوڈ ڈبلو ڈاٹ آؤٹ فوڈ مینز مائنس پائپ ہنڈ این فوڈ ویل بی پازیٹیو این آؤٹ فوڈ ویل بی نگیٹیو ایکارڈنگ ٹو کنونشن آپ میں کان کی دی ہیٹ لاس پرام دی کیسز ایس نگلیجیبل نو ہیٹ لاس این گین سو کیو ڈبلو ویل بی زیرو ناو پارٹ نمبر ون دی چینج آف سپیسیفک انتال پی ایک راست ٹربائن وین دی ویلاسٹی H2 minus H1 find H2 minus H1 when when the change in velocity is negligible it means that C1 is equal to C2 so this implies that C2 minus C1 is equal to 0 and and the difference in elevation are negligible it means that Z1 is equal to Z2 Z1 is equal to Z2. So this implies that Z2 minus Z1 is equal to 0. And in part number 2, H2 minus H1, find H2 minus H1 when the change of specific across the turbine, when the velocity at entrance is 60 meter per second, C1 is equal to 60 meter per second, and at exit is 10 so sort. Velocity at exit is equal to 360 meter per second and the inlet pipe is 3 meter above the exhaust pipe it means that inlet is above so it means that if, if z2 is equal to x meter it means that z1 will be x plus 3 meter because inlet is 3 meter above the exit or exhaust so z2 minus z1 is equal to Z2 minus Z1 X minus X minus 3 meter so Z2 minus Z1 is equal to minus 3 meter now we are solving part number 1 so according to steady flow equation according to steady flow equation m dot n2 h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1 g plus q dot plus m dot is equal to plus, plus, plus w dot power plus w dot is equal to m m dot h2 plus c2 square divided by 2 plus z2 g this is steady flow equation now we rearrange this equation so q dot plus w dot is equal to we can write this term to the right side so and m dot will be common from both so m dot h2 
minus h1 plus 1 over 2 c2 square minus c1 square plus z1 minus z2 into g so q dot is q dot is equal to 0 so this term will be equal to 0 so and w dot the value of w dot is minus 500 kilowatt power output negative sign means power is output is equal to m dot the value of m dot is 1.35 kilogram per second and we have to find h2 minus h1 plus c2 square c2 and c1 is same so difference will be zero z1 is the two is same so difference will be zero so these two terms are zero and to find h2 minus h1 we have to divide both sides by 1.35 so minus 500 kilo mean 10 power 3 or we can write this is kilo and watt is equal to joule per second divided by 1.35 kilogram per second so second will be kilo and second and you know it will be kilojoule per kg so h2 minus h1 is equal to h2 minus h1 is equal to minus minus 500 divided by 1.35 is equal to minus 370 kilogram per sec kilo kilojoule per kg negative sign mean that enthalpy is decreases enthalpy decreases now part number two in part number two we also we have to find h2 minus h1 so this equation is q dot is zero and this this i start from this equation w dot is equal to m dot already simplify this equation w dot is equal to m dot w dot is equal to m dot h2 minus h1 plus 1 over 2 c2 square minus c1 square plus z1 minus z2 into g so w dot is equal to minus 500 kilowatt m dot is equal to 1.35 kilogram per second and we have to find h2 minus h1 plus 1 over 2 c2 square c2 is equal to 360 360 meter per second whole square c1 is 60 so 60 meter per second whole square plus z1 minus z2 is equal to 3 minus 3 meter and the value of g is 9.8 meter per square second now minus 500 kilowatt is equal to 1.35 kilogram per second or divide this by 1.35 1.35 kilogram per second and we I can write kilo, what is joule per second is equal to h2 minus h1 plus take square of 360 and square of 60 60 and then subtract from this view 60 square and divide the whole value by 2 so the final answer will be the final answer from this will be 63,000 63,000 meter square per second square similarly simplify this value 3 multiply by 9.8 so this will be equal to minus 29.8 meter square per second square and and i can write this meter per second is equal to joule per second because because meter per meter square per second square and joule per second are equal 
and this I can do this joule per second is equal to meter square per second square. So joule joule is equal to newton meter per second. Newton is equal to kilogram meter per square second. Kilogram meter per second square. And here this is meter. This is meter and kilogram meter per second square this newton is equal to kilogram sorry this is uh, kilo joule per kg joule per kg this is kg this is kg this is kg this is kg so this then is kg so kg will be is equal to cancel with kg so you know it is meter square per second it means that joule per kg is equal to meter square per second so i can write the instead of meter per square second joule per kg so minus 500 minus 500 divided by 1.35 is equal to minus 370 minus 370.37 kilo joule per kilogram kilo joule per kilogram second will be cancelled with second is equal to h2 minus h1 and 63000 minus 29.8 is equal to 62,970 joule per kilogram so meter per square second is equal to joule per kilogram and h2 minus h1 is equal to multiply this by kilo kilo is equal to 10 power minus 3 so h2 minus h1 is equal to minus 370 into 370 joule per kg and minus 62 970 joule per kg so h2 minus h1 is equal to minus 433340 joule per kg and i can write this value in kilojoule so divide this by thousand so the value will be in kilojoule minus 433.34 kilojoule per kg this is the final answer and for more videos please and and this means that enthalpy decreases answer is negative negative sign mean that enthalpy decreases and for more videos please sub subscribe my youtube channel thank you